Good morning, everybody. We're here yeah. at a, a nature park. We're in, oh no, it's getting foggy. Oh no. Darn, it's too humid out here. So the park we're at is called Big Tree Park, and in 2012, it made the news when a very historic tree back here burned down, but and so now it has all kinds of barbed wire fencing up around it. So the tree was called the Senator, and it says the height of the Senator was portrayed by the boardwalk ahead. What, Where? Like this is how long it was? Oh, look, here it is, one inch. Okay. So this is inch one. Oh, it's darn this fog here, man. It's just too humid out. All right, let's try that again. So here it is. Year one, the senator, which is the name of the tree that burned down, sprouts. In I can't believe that it was 1500 BC that this tree started growing. Yeah. That is intense. And so we can see here on the ground, there's a marker that says one inch. This is where it started growing. And then as we go down, we can see different heights and different years as it grew. Ooh, at 50 years old, the senator is 60 feet tall. Is there another cypress out here that we can see? Is that a cypress? No, that's an oak tree. Oh. Uh, we'll find another cypress and we'll show you. Maybe a 50 foot tall cypress. But here it is. We're at or 60 feet. 50 years old. Wow. So within the time from that green sign over there to here is 50 years. Oh, it's like we're traveling through time. We're already at 200 years here and 120 feet. Look at how like that was back when we started back there 200 years ago. That's intense. So apparently there's another tree called Lady Liberty. Yeah. Um, and, the, and that I guess was the only other tree that was that came close to the size of the senator at the time. Man. So where's Lady Liberty? It's straight ahead of us here. I know I'm showing you guys a tree right now, but I'm giving you a spider alert. Those of you guys that don't oh like God. spiders, I'm about to show a real big one. So... Here. Yeah, look at that thing. Sorry, it's blurry. Let me see if I can get it to focus on it. There it is. Oh, yeah. This is called a banana spider. And this is called a scared gen. <laughs> there it is. Oh, man. This is the sign from Big Tree. And then this is what's left of it. Dang. I can't believe this. I just think, like, man, how terrible it is that somebody somebody was back here just messing around with I thought they said it was like a cigarette or like matches or something and they burned this tree down that has been around since 1500 BC right and look you can see there's just a big opening from where the tree used to be like everywhere else is trees trees well, all over the place but you know what they did say they did say that when the cypress trees are growing they're competing for obviously the free spot in the canopy so when trees fall the trees that are near that tree really flourish so maybe there's another tree around here that will grow super tall because of this opening oh maybe i don't know that's so sad it is look at how wide the base is like it goes from here to here it's just huge i wonder how it felt did it fall or did it just like burn to ash i don't know calvin coolidge dedicated this as the largest cypress in the united states in 1929 and it burned down. A circumference of 420 inches and a height of 118 feet. What does that mean? 300 feet? 420 inches. What does that mean? Oh, I don't know. That's a good feet? question. It's it's big, for sure. <laughs> I never did math very well. You <laughs> never learned to read. Oh, see, Senator 2012, Senator was burned by arson. Oh, and you can see it in the picture. It fell down. Oh, it did fall. Wow. But they do, oh, okay, so they actually grew a clone. I think we talked about this the last time we were here. Yeah, it's out in front of the park. We'll show it as we're leaving. Ooh. Dang, I took a picture on my little Insta camera. It was too dark, but I did exactly what, a lot of you guys have been tweeting me, like, what to do, and I did exactly mm. what you said. I don't know. Yeah, dang, I think it was just too far of an exposure. Ding, dang. So as we started to walk towards Lady Liberty, which is the second largest tree, uh, we noticed that there was a lady sleeping on a bench back there. So we decided to just let her be and let her have her little nap by the tree and uh, not get any closer than we did. But that is the second largest cypress tree in this park. I don't know if it's in America, but it is like a sister tree to the senator. So here's the picture I took of this sign by senator by the big tree. Um, I don't know how to use this camera. It's very blurry. <laughs> I'm still working on it, you guys. But uh, this was a good trip, and this is the camera I've been using in case you guys were wondering. I'll put a link down below for the Amazon like link, because a lot of you guys have been asking about it. So, And they do come in other cool colors, too. If you come here, I will warn you of rogue poops on the ground. Yeah, I accidentally stepped in some sort of diarrhea. I think it was people poop. It may have been people poop, or some large, like, animal. I don't know. Probably don't know. people poop. So out in front of the park is a little playground here, and like some picnic areas. 
And then here is the clone of the senator that was planted in 2013 after the original senator burnt down. Oh, there's a plaque over there. Is there a plaque? Oh, the phoenix as it rises from the ashes of the senator. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Dang. Was lost in an arson fire, January 16th, 2012. Dang. There it is. The phoenix. So this is how much it's grown in five years? Yeah. Wow. Man. So though the senator stood strong, even surviving a hurricane that knocked off the top 40 feet of its crown, it was burned down. Well, it was a fun little trip, even though we got poop and everything all over ourselves. <laughs> we didn't get poop all over ourselves. You stepped in it. I stepped in poop. <laughs> um, no, this was fun. We're trying to like, try to get out and like, you know, walk and do some stuff in the morning where it, when it's cooler so that we can yeah. get more like, exercise in um but yeah so now i'm hungry should we do breakfast yeah, let's go get some breakfast yeah we're back at einstein bagels this is a different einstein bagels but trying something different what'd you get you got the same thing that you got <laughs> i always get the same thing <laughs> right oh but i didn't ask for one egg i only asked for i asked i got the normal two eggs so i'm gonna be real full today nice and you also got this thing oh yeah it's a little um oh no it has a little a little belly button oh that's weird but it's a schmear ball so it has, um, should I try it? Yeah, try Maybe it. I'll take his little belly button off. Okay. It's a, a As Asiago bagel with jalapeno cream cheese inside of it. The reason why I got this is because it reminded me of the Disney jalapeno cheese pretzel and it really tastes just like it. You gotta have some of this. Oh, okay. Yeah, the cream cheese is a little bit funny inside of it, but. It's good though. It's good. Oh, uh, that was a good breakfast. It was really good. You're in charge of the trash now. <laughs> I said, huh? <laughs> the REI Co-op. We're gonna go to an outdoorsy store today. Good times, good times. I also got some shorts I gotta return. Ooh, I like this place. It's very outdoorsy. Makes me wanna go camping or like go ride a bike with like some cool glasses and a helmet like this lady. Oh, I like that they're using like vintage things in order to sell the stuff. Like this thing's cool looking. What is it? It's just an insulated jug. Ooh, does it smell bad in there? I'm not smelling it. <laughs> <laughs> those, you know that those aren't fanny packs, right? Look. That's like that's the world's biggest fanny pack. It's like a backpack, like a sling backpack. Fanny pack. Fanny pack. <laughs> Ooh, this is the same type of cup that I or like sippy cup that I have. But look, this one's from Yellowstone. That one's pretty cool. Ooh, is this one of those like inflatable stand-up paddle boards? There's one out there right now that has like a guy that looks almost exactly like me on the box. This isn't it, but uh, I'm kind of interested to know who that guy is. Kind of want this kayak because you do this, and then there's. A little propeller underneath, spin it. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there must be like a, a thing, but it like steers you. Oh wait, that brings it up and down. Oh, they even have like a bicycle shop in here. How cool is that? Whoa, I want this. It looks like a tent that goes on the roof of your car. That's confusing. Side note, look at how teeny tiny these bikes are. This is pretty interesting. I didn't even think that this would be a thing, but for uh, rock climbing, this is like a hand exerciser for playing guitar, but I would imagine people do use it for uh, getting their grip better for rock climbing. And then these uh, power balls too. I don't know what it is about camping stuff, but man, camping stuff is fun. Like look at that, they've got a whole like tent set up in here with sleeping bags and everything. It makes me want to go camping. Ooh, Jen, do you know what these are? What? These are Dutch ovens. Oh. You know what that is. I know what you want me to say, and I know that that's not what it is. That's where you put the whole thing inside the fire yeah and you bake it you can bake a cake in them you can bake a pretty cake yeah i feel like one of the things that i like about camping here is the technology in here like this is the type of thing that you would use to purify your water you put dirty water in here and then it goes through this filter and then you can fill up your bottle with it it's amazing oh yeah we should get some free dried food for dinner tonight like some uh marinara with penne this looks pretty good Ooh. yeah vegetable korma I, I, you know what? This stuff isn't that bad. I've had it before. It's uh, pretty expensive though. That's the only problem. I'm like, confused. Is this jerky? Lasagna. No, it's all freeze dried. You got to just add water. Oh, that sounds good. And you gross. cook it up. Oh, look at this thing. That's for like when the world is ending. We uh, gave Bandit a toy from the mail vlog and he is, I put it up on the shelf over there and now he's like, I want that right now. Give it to me. Oh, good night everybody. Say good hello night, you to guys. the vlog. Everybody in the mail vlog, Hi, say hello. vlog. Bye vlog. Yeah. Save Bandit. I actually didn't know what that was until Kaylee told me what it was because Kaylee actually sells the Save Bandit decals in her shop at Fandomly Designs um, on Etsy. And I was like, what is that? Oh, Parks and Rec. So, yeah, Save Bandit. <laughs>
Bye, everybody. We love you guys. Thank you so much for coming, and we will see you uh, next week. Yeah. yeah. Bye, future me. Bye, future you. One of the things that we got in the mail vlog was this little robotic fish. Oh, are you going to put it in our little fake fish tank? And I have a little fake fish tank to put it in. Let's see what happens. Bloop. Oh, he's freaking out. <laughs> we should put him in the pool. Oh, yeah, we well, can do that. What will he do in the pool? I don't know. Here he goes. Should I throw him in? Yeah, give him a little toss. Be free, little fish. Be free. How long will he go for? I don't know. There he goes, though. Look at him. He's Look, swimming off. We have a fish in the pool. There's a fish in the pool. Look at him. There's a wild fish in our pool. He's swimming all around. Oh no, he's just gonna hit the wall like he he's did. He's gonna him. run into, oh no, look, he's changing directions. Fish, you're not very smart for oh. a smart fish. Look, there he goes. Oh no, he's gonna get caught in like an undertow. Oh, oh no, it's too, it's too, it's too wild out there he's for like, you, fish. Oh look, he's like trying. He's, he's trying to swim local. against it. Oh man, look at him go. He's really moving now. Well, I think we're trying to get him out now. And so Jen is calling to him saying, fish, come here. Swim to me, fish. No, no, you're going the wrong way, fish. Oh no, he's gonna get caught in this current right here. And then what? And then he'll swim really fast. To where? To the wall, I think. Like to this wall? May I don't know. Oh no, he's turning around. I think he's in a whirlpool. No, I think he just does that because his tail only does like real hard to one side. Here he comes. Oh, he thought she could run away from me. Oh no, here he comes. Oh, 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 so close. Oh no, oh, you almost fell in. I got there him. he is. And I didn't even fall in the pool. Right? Oh, he's, he stopped. Another thing that we got during the mail vlog is this, uh, these whoopie pies. They got pretty darn crushed, but um, I think I'm gonna try this one anyways. At this point, it kind of looks like an angry Whopper. You guys ever seen those? <laughs> like a Whopper with a black bun? Uh, maybe it'll be good. I don't know. It kind of looks like maybe a brownie with peanut butter filling. So that doesn't sound like it could be bad. Sounds like it could be good. All right, here we go. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks like it might be a little bit dry because it did really fall apart when I cut into it, but it's just a cake with whipped frosting in the middle of it. So it's good. It's very good. It's a chocolate cake and peanut butter whipped frosting inside of it. So highly suggest getting yourself a whoopie pie. To end out the night, I watched Hacksaw Ridge. Jen didn't want to watch like a war movie. It was good. It was a very good movie. I think that Andrew Garfield did a good job. I think that Vince Vaughn did a good job. I think everybody in the movie did a good job, but I think those two characters kind of stood out to me. The beginning was a little bit like disjointed because I understand it's like we're trying to get uh, the entire backstory of this person before we get into the main meat of it. We start out when he's a little kid and then he's older and then even more older. And so it just kind of got a little bit confusing because it was like 16 years earlier, 16 years later. And I was like, wait a second, you know, it was just kind of like all over the place. Kind of a, a very strange way of telling the story but i do recommend that if you like war movies i think you should watch it it was definitely good and with that being said it's gotten late so i am off and i will see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price